It's been exactly one year since San Diego State student Donna Jo went missing, and her family is hoping a vigil tonight will help keep the hope alive that one day she will be found. News 8's Rekha Muraj takes a look back at how the search for Donna Jo began and where it's headed. One year after Donna Jo's disappearance, her family still hopes for her safe return. Those who knew the 19-year-old San Diego State honor student are asked to gather Monday evening for a candlelight vigil. It will be held in front of the Los Angeles rental home of the man believed to be her abductor. What happened to her? Joe was last seen getting on the back of 35-year-old John Stephen Burgess's motorcycle in Rancho San Margarita on June 23, 2007. Burgess is a convicted sex offender, and while authorities consider him a suspect, he has never been charged in connection with Joe's disappearance. He's currently serving a three-year jail sentence for failing to register as a sex offender. But before his trial, Burgess told authorities he had information about Joe, but would only give it up in exchange for immunity. That is a disgusting deal that you are proposing. We're talking about a young woman. Meanwhile, Joe's family is hoping a vigil will keep the young woman in everyone's hearts and minds. I'm counting days, minutes, hours, and seconds to look into those eyes and tell her how happy I am that she's back in my arm and I will never let go. Rekha Mudaraj, News 8. Tonight's vigil begins at 6 o'clock. If you'd like more details, you can head to our website, that's cbs8.com, and click on the hot button. A year after a San Diego State student disappeared, her family is still not giving up hope. Right now, the family of Donna Jo is holding a vigil in her honor. There is a so-called person of interest in the case, but still no arrests and no sign of the 20-year-old. 10 News digital correspondent Sharice Yu brings us up to date. The mystery of Donna Joe's disappearance remains unsolved. I cannot bring myself to say goodbye to Donna. The family says Donna disappeared after meeting John Burgess off the popular website Craigslist. There is no conclusive evidence that she will not come back to us alive. So they gather here in West Los Angeles, where Burgess, a registered sex offender, lived. Go as long as it takes find her. If it takes my entire life, so be it. We have not reached the point where we should give up hope. They follow every tip, including reports that Donna was last seen at a party held at Burgess's home. Her family believes people at that party may provide new leads. If you have seen something or have heard something, please come forward and report it. I'm Sharice Yu, 10 News. So far, police say John Burgess has not been charged in connection with Donna's disappearance. However, he is serving three years in prison for failing to register as a sex offender. It has now been one year since a San Diego State student disappeared after leaving her family's home in Orange County. Donna Jo was last seen June 23, 2007 on a motorcycle with a man she met on the internet, John Stephen Burgess. Today, her family held a vigil outside his home in Los Angeles. Burgess is now serving time for failing to register as a sex offender. He was considered a suspect, but never charged in Donna's disappearance. Her family believes Burgess knows what happened. Many years I haven't seen it. My daughter's pretty face. I haven't talked to her. I don't know what happened to her that night in this house. Donna's mother asked anyone with any information to come forward. Authorities say when she left with Burgess on a motorcycle, Donna was headed to a party at his house. Well, San Diego's rural fire agencies are joining forces.